the outlawed one is looking for Little Nightmares 1. And they have it here on the PS4. So, trying to see if I can get a tray going. Redemption and Dark Souls 3 for Little Nightmares 1 for the Outlawed one because he wanted it. It was would have been 25 bucks, so cool for that. Get the play on my deck. This yard sale here, three bucks. Can't really beat that, but yard sales have been bogus. I haven't really got much, but whatever. At a random house, I just randomly asked some people if they have video games for sale, and he said, Yeah, <laughs> not even have any yard sale. Sometimes you just gotta randomly ask, Pay 20 for these. So, at that yard sale, there, got those for 10, five for each. So, 25 for the Switch with only one Joy-Con, no charger or nothing, and then $10 for the, the DS. So, stoked on that. Hey, thank you, man. I don't have a TV like Hack and Steve wants me to have, but I do have a portable charger for the car, and the Switch I just got for 25 bucks with one Joy-Con. It looks like it takes charge, so we'll wait on that to power up. And then that's everything. Stoked. Oh, yeah. kind of just throws you in there, but you get the hang of it pretty quick. There is no aim down sights button, which I wasn't used to because of playing Call of Duty for so long, etc. Um, but you can do a weld in this game, as well as you could take the sword out, but I'm at the very beginning of it, so I think you have to like beat the game in order to get the sword. But uh, from what I played, it kind of reminded me of Fear, and you know, it has that slow motion aspect to it, as well as, uh, fast pace uh, shooting so it from what i played it's it's actually pretty good i mean I, I liked it it is considered a rare game i believe they did reprint it um you can find this right now on amazon i think for 50 bucks The game is pretty brutal, as you can see. But here's uh, some enemies that kind of reminded me of Killzone, in a way. They have juggernauts and all that stuff, but I mean, the graphics are awesome. I'm, I was pretty shocked, and you know, not too many people know about this game. So if you guys get the chance and you find it, snag it up.
Alpha 3, watch for friendly fire. 106 is approaching the helipad. Make sure he extracts safely. So I got uh, the working switch I got for 25 bucks. I took in the few games that I got off the random dude in the side of the road that wasn't even having a yard sale. Traded those into GameStop, got the other Joy-Con. I have this dock I got from a Switch lot I got a while ago with the charger for it and an HDMI cord. I had these games from miscellaneous uh, yard sales that I've been to. So I'm gonna put that together and try to get rid of it this way. Um, originally I had this with the Switch OLED that I got for a hundred bucks. I guess I'm just gonna keep that separate. It's gonna just have a charger with it and the two white Joy-Cons and the OLED screen. So I don't know, I'll figure something out with that later. But I pretty much got that for a hundred bucks. So having a backup OLED for a hundred bucks, I already have four docks in this house, etc. I have a huge collection, not only of games, but of consoles as well. Um, but more current gen consoles um but yeah this is uh, a little lot i'm gonna put together i don't know I, I was thinking about 150 150 i don't know maybe that's too low but yeah. pretty cool to get a regular v2 switch for 25 bucks so, no no drug con drift either so stoked on that i would sabotaging my competition we're, we're all here at one yard sale so yeah competition just left this here these guys, these guys are all like yeah there ain't nothing over there I, I bought some stuff off of them before they ain't gonna have nothing so why are you over here in the first place then that's what i don't get Regardless, I told them they missed a $150 DVD, so <laughs> anyway. I needed to get some ball rolling because ain't nothing. And I mean, there ain't nothing out here right now. It is starting to dry up. No, that's it. We sell them. We flip stuff on them. Nah. The more people who know the secret, the less and less items that are going to be available to you and to every other collector that's out there. This yard sale here, picking up scraps. Got this all for $10. I'll go through it later. But yeah, stoked on this. Got two for five. Picked all those up right there for 10 bucks. Stoked. Nice clean Xbox with all these accessories and stuff for 25 bucks. And he sold me Bloodborne for $2, so stoked on that thank you man i appreciate it all right so everything you see here cost me 80 bucks i spent 80 dollars for the day i can't remember how much where but i just remember that i took 100 with me and i have 20 in my wallet so there it goes i spent 80 dollars on everything i did not put gas in my car because i didn't need to uh swap meet few yard sales um i think i went to one thrift store nothing nothing uh this was on the way home they had uh these ps4 games they wanted they're individually priced for like 10 15 dollars each but the, the girl was all like yeah my son priced them i know some are cheaper and some are more expensive it doesn't matter to us we'll do two for five so i ended up getting ten dollars there and then at the last minute after they sold me the 360 he came out with bloodborne and he sold it to me for two dollars so this cost me 12 I paid $25 for the Xbox with no hard drive, but it's very clean. Um, it's dirty, dusty, but it's very clean, matted finish. There's no scratch or nicks or anything like that on it. So I'm happy with this. And the guy said he was playing it. So 
already know it works so that's cool and then you guys remember the hard drive i took out before trading in that uh 360 and uh yeah so i'll be able to put that in there that's a what a 250 gig so that's a 250 gig it came with two controllers one of them still has the sticker on it right here so i'm guessing this is like the newer controller i'm gonna wipe it down and i'm gonna keep it because you never cannot have enough xbox 360 controllers uh these are the wired controller i'll probably bundle with one system came with the connect which is cool um, the swap meet i bought this for five dollars and this for five dollars so this cost me ten there um i've never seen saint before this is going to be something i keep in the collection um might flash some footage of it up here but i've never heard of this never seen it before um it's complete it looks clean so stoked on that sluggers i'll probably be posting that online it does have a little rip in the artwork on the top up here i was in the back of this house that had just nothing but garbage and they had some of the stuff laying out he said he had a ps4 and someone stole it so i was like man that sucks so i got these two these three controllers here um black ops black ops 2 i'm gonna resurface them and i'm gonna trade them into gamestop because it's like 12 or 13 bucks uh new super mario brothers i got these three here these two controllers, this Wii remote, all these games here for $10. So I couldn't beat that. This will be resurfaced and traded in. This will be traded in. This will be traded in. I don't know if uh, they take these two. I was going to post this as a disc only on eBay or something. It is messed up. Uh, these need to be resurfaced. But, you know, if you bundle Black Ops 1 and 2 together, you get like $14 store credit um this i don't know if it works or not but if it doesn't then it's still about what 12 dollars in store credit if it does work it's about 22 somewhere around there i might keep this because i've never seen this before either um it looks cool it's an xbox one game but yeah um not a not too bad of a haul but you know i've had a, i've been busy and there's been things going on as well as all the competition out there so you know better than nothing i can't complain about that i guess <laughs> i managed to find a, a good item here at this location and here it is here they had the four for 40 going on but i really couldn't find anything so i ended up passing on it the stuff i got today things pretty clean so Pick that up. Okay. Still have this left. My pre-order bonus. I got ninety dollars and thirty cents. Well, it goes. It went up to one hundred and one, right? When you pre-ordered. Uh oh. Here, let me see. And with my pre-order oh. bonus, I got one hundred and one twenty. This is the third time he's tried to rob me, this manager of this GameStop here. Uh, uh, pro membership on my account without telling me, trying to charge me 25 bucks. But we're at the farmer's market. Trying to see if he's gonna do some trades. Let's see what's up. I wanna see some originality. I think that's another reason why I kind of went back to some side scroller games and indie games because that's where their originality is at right now if you guys pay attention that's another reason why i'm collecting for the switch pretty heavily is because there's a lot of unique and indie titles that are out for that thing physical copies as well but get them while you can guys because it's gonna run dry And that for the outlawed one. Yeah. Alright, so we're trading these two games for these two games. So, stoked. Thank you very much. Have a good one, bro. Well, that worked out well. Um, he valued my stuff to be about 45 bucks. I did not have NG. Um, I think it's like a horror game. I'm not too familiar with the series. It does say up here volume two, so I don't know. 
if that has anything to do with anything. But yeah, I don't have this, so it's gonna be added in for sure. And then uh, the Outlawed One needed this. He's a horror collector for games and he wanted this, so I got it for him. The value of the trade that I gave him was about 50, 45 bucks. So, and he asked 20 for this, so cool. Whatever, stuff I don't have. Still got a lot of stuff though. We're at Barter Kings here and they don't have anything. I've been here the last three weeks and they haven't had anything, so. Um, I mean, they have stuff, it's just nothing that I need. All right, I'm here to pick up something, but they're closed. It's funny, does your GameStop stay closed until 12 p.m.? Well, this location does. I don't know why, but. pretty good um even though the manager is always trying to screw me here but whatever um final fantasy ring of fates i paid 12 dollars for that final fantasy echoes of time paid 12 dollars for that and then i found this i know this is getting released on the switch here in a few but uh, i found that and i ended up paying i think 15 dollars for this with my discounts and then the main reason why i came was to pick up this Right, so I ran into Aiden, he was at GameStop, and they were offering him bogus amount of money, and he decided to come by and come to Easy Oldies, and we're making a trade. We're doing uh, the PlayStation Mini, some Wii remotes that he needed for all this right here, the PS4 and the 360. Crazy that the GameStop's only offering $45 on this right now. It's nuts, but... I appreciate you doing the trade with me, man. I, I appreciate it too, man. And you're going to come back? Yeah. For sure, coming back. For sure awesome, coming back. awesome. Thank you again, guys. Thank you too. Awesome. What a trade. Awesome. I'd like to thank Aiden again. All right, paid for that already. And have 113.77 left over there. Stoked. All right, got your game? Got the game. Glad you came by, easy oldies. <laughs> All right, so this is everything that's gonna be added into the collection. NG was an awesome find. Morbid I ended up getting with the store credit I got from trading in the stuff recently. Um, these two were five bucks each. Those are, I don't know where I'm gonna put them, but they're gonna, I'm gonna keep them sealed. This was really cool. If you look at the girl in the middle, she slides away when taking off the slip cover. I think that's pretty neat. Pretty awesome to add that in to my Yakuza collection. Final Fantasies were pretty cool to find for 12 bucks each. They both are complete. Really nice condition. Visions of Mana, I was waiting for that to come out. I was waiting for this too. This is a rare game, Trey Peng 2. It's like fear. From what I played earlier and continuing to play, um, it gets better. So really awesome to add that into the collection. This I found at GameStop. And then these are just kind of regular shovelware titles on the Wii. But you know, to be honest with you, some of those shovelware titles are gonna be worth some money. And then Metal Dungeon at the bottom there. I appreciate you guys for watching again. Can't be more uh, grateful for all the subscribers and support. Thanks, everybody.
relax, take it easy.